we'll talk about it a little later. A lot of people have been asking where we're gonna get customers from, what's the shop gonna be like. <laughs> Hey everyone, Renee and I here. Hey guys. So in this video, we're gonna tell you guys a little bit about the new building here in Florida, what our plans are with it. There's been a lot going on, so we haven't got to share that with you guys yet. And then we're gonna show you kind of what we've been up to in the area. We got to go do some exciting Florida things. Only a few times, but we'll show you guys that real quick. And then we'll go over the plans with the building and what we're gonna do inside here. Lots of cool people stop by the shop here. I don't really capture any of that, but still a lot of cool local people and there's some people that are gonna come by in a little bit here some younger guys they're like 15 or something like that and they're just getting into cars and they're like can we have a ride in the parking lot so we're gonna give them a ride around the little mini oval here okay so we're gonna give two guys a ride so what's your name Aiden Kyler and Kyler you guys already liked cars before but then you saw that we had cars here and so you're like let's go meet this guy yeah. pretty much super and we were like that's a Supra. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of cars do you guys prefer? Like American or import or everything? Everything. And you guys are about I grew up with muscle cars. If it's fast, it's fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go have a ride in the drift car then. Alright, we got to give the boys a ride. Do you guys have fun? Yeah, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> we got one of the neighbors to yell at us. Let's not do that again. <laughs> you, you just caught him on a bad day. He yeah. apologized. He's like, don't do that. Oh, it's you. Okay, oh, sorry. It was, it was a weird situation, <laughs> but probably won't be the last time we get yelled at for doing burnouts. It always happens, oh, huh? Jeez. <laughs> well, till next time. Yep, see you guys. So it's just a normal Friday here. Whoa, someone's honking at us, the neighbor. And we had a visitor show up, unannounced visitor show up from Sweden. So you came all the way from Sweden? Netherlands. Netherlands, sorry. Oh, you were saying the Volvo, Sweden totally, oh, Swedish yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he came all the way from the Netherlands, unannounced, and he's here, so I figured we should probably give him a ride out there, right? Awesome, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and he was drifting a Volvo, but now what do you drift? I don't drift anymore. Oh, he know? stopped I have drifting. Children in the house, but I still have the Volvo, but it's he grew up. He had kids and he grew up. So we're gonna give him a ride. Lucky Thank guy. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back in the shop, but we gave him a ride. How was it? It was not normal, not, not <laughs> compa comparable to what I ever did. No, 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 no. This so is fun. Not... He's smiling, so he had fun. <laughs> this, this was not normal. Well, welcome to Florida, right? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> guy right there just hanging out he just has like his head and nose out ourselves a gator yeah it's only six feet probably huh he's charging us what now you're coming for us oh, okay underwater yeah there is a little 
See that little one? He got out of the water over there. Okay guys, so in this building, this used to be a cabinet shop. There's still a lot of cleaning that has to be done. But as we were moving over here, we had to just get our stuff out of those semi trucks. Somewhat put the boxes and everything in certain areas. But we're gonna actually have to like take them down off of every shelf, clean it. There's a lot of sawdust in here. And then we're going to set up designated areas kind of like our previous shop in california was where we well we also wanted to talk about like we'll talk about it a little later but a lot of people have been asking about uh, like where we're going to get customers from what's the shop going to be like so we're going to answer some of those questions so that people can have more questions later <laughs> but we'll talk about that in a little bit let's start over here ground vac is inside because it rains too much here and we won't be able to put it it's our neighbor jim jim say hi <laughs> That's our nearest neighbor, Jim. He's got a shop right out that door there. Okay, so what we were gonna tell you is there's even like a paint booth over here. They would do finishing work and I don't know, vinyl stuff or epoxy stuff. I don't know exactly what they did. I don't build cabinets. Couldn't really fit a car in here, but you could fit body panels and you could paint body panels and then the exhaust fan. It would be a side draft instead of going up like a typical paint booth. So but with a lot of fixing up. You could probably, probably will leave this. You could do fiberglass work and paint. We'll utilize it. Yeah, I'll use that space for something. As you guys know, when you're fixing body panels, fiberglass stuff, so messy. So I could go hide in that room, do stuff, and have the fan on. It wouldn't be as dusty throughout the rest of the shop. How about this guy? He's gonna see some local tracks eventually. Yeah, <laughs> I'll get to work on that a little bit and start to use it maybe like twice a year. Plan for over in this area would be to clean this up and then I could assemble engines over there. That was my thought. There's all our offices here above oh, the offices. So There's a lot of storage. So we've already set all the shelves up there same stuff that was upstairs in the previous shop is upstairs there right now both dan and i kind of wear a lot of hats like you guys saw back in california we had yevgeny was in house nikki was with us so we've done all that like just us before um yevgeny's still working with us but i'm kind of in the front office doing a lot of just the business work and my plan for this room i've kind of claimed it already <laughs> got all the vinyl and everything in here i'd like to make this kind of a more creative space so I can actually work on some of like our apparel out of here and I don't know, come up with more designs and stickers and things like that for you guys. If there's things you wanna see, let us know. I don't know, we've had like flags in the past, have posters, stuff like that. Let us know what you wanna see more of because I plan on doing that out of here. Yep, so there's that. These are just three more offices in here, break room, stuff like that. Over here is where we're gonna do, or we are already doing, Doing. shipping and receiving is like this area any inventory of stuff we have is mostly here and that's like when we get our online orders we grab it off one of the shelves pack it ship it going back to like customer cars and we'll kind of share that with you in the middle here customer cars and you guys are questioning when are we gonna do more customer builds that'll happen but we got to get this set up first right now we're just relying on online sales to cover our bills so we here's like I, I want to say in more detail because everyone's like oh you guys don't worry about it you'll get business out there and um, we had plenty we of offers here. plenty yeah. and we're like not yet not right now no thanks for the past couple years if you go back to it starting out rad industries as a shop was as a source of like making our race program happen right when we were starting out and dan's good at that it just brought in the customers and that was a form of income for us in order to make things happen but like as much as dan loves it it requires a lot and it it was, um, you know, we love our customers and you guys have got to see all the cool builds that have come through the shop. We're gonna have more builds. It's just gonna be kind of a different approach, but Dan working more independently, not so much for customers, allows him to focus more on racing. So that's what the goal was here with everything. 
to kind of cut our expenses and be able to have Dan go to local tracks, get more seat time. And in the process of that, we're in the transition with really focusing on our, our e-commerce store. So if you guys haven't been to radindustries.com yet, check it out. Even if you're not in the market for any like car parts quite yet or anything like that, we have quite a bit on there. There's even welding equipment from Tycon. There's a wide range of things and we're gonna be adding to that over time. Yeah, we offer almost all the brands that you see on Dan's car is on the website and we've expanded a little bit into Nissan, BMW, we have some of that. It's not just all Toyota, not all TJ. Mm. That's, lots of TJ though. Yeah, lots that's, of TJ. I mean, that's what you That's guess. like our goal is just yeah. to grow the website. It doesn't take as many man hours. I do love building cars. We built some really cool cars and worked on so many cars, but it um, requires the right person with the right skill set a they, lot of coordinating it's a lot of, it's a lot of effort so yeah. it would be less effort and still in the car industry and still i'm able to do it with the tools we have here for myself and very select projects that will happen here i'm sure of it we just aren't taking any right now you know, selling parts gives you a little bit more free time to then develop more parts that rad can make because over the years we did make some parts for 2j stuff but we'd like to broaden it and make more and more parts it's really fun for me so don't worry you happen. guys are still gonna see a lot of building take place yes. on the channel but now we get to do things like we've had for almost two to three years now all Wait. the parts oh, to my swap gosh, my yeah. supra to manual. yeah think so. about that if you had a supra that was auto in a auto and you already had the six speed you already had the block you already had all the stuff but you just didn't have time to do it i've been waiting <laughs> <laughs> not saying that we have all the extra time because you're still running a race program you're traveling back and forth we are pretty busy with filling orders every day but we're gonna make time to do cool youtube stuff that would be one thing we have plenty bit. more You're ideas do silly things you get you guys saw that we the, did this but we would have more stuff than that too you guys saw the hilux surf in the last video so it'll be a little more of that so you guys kind of understand because there's a lot of changes taking place but we wouldn't have bought as large of a shop if we didn't plan on still building cars still doing fun things out of here so just stay tuned more to come <laughs> yeah everything takes time you got to work at it so this area over here where all the gear wrench toolboxes are would be, you know, baby blues over there. That would be the area that I'm gonna put two lifts. We're still waiting to see which lift we get. We have two choices here. We sold all our other ones. We're just gonna get two, make this just like an efficient race shop that we, you know, two lifts is plenty. Wanting like lift, like that being at the top of the list, second to that, maybe Ooh. first before that maybe. is fans we need some fans of some kind of like portacool or yeah something, something like in here because that. that was warm yeah it's always like 90 here which isn't 90 is not that hot but doesn't seem we're hot to us because we were shinier. from california it was 90 sometimes or a lot of the time in the summer but here it's just really humid when it's 90. back over this area it has most of my fab stuff already that's where the fab area i will set up will be over there and some of these pallet racks behind me, I might. I'm not sure yet, because I want to park trailers inside here, but I might put some of these racks will come this way and some that way. So it's like just the corner it can be like the dirty corner over there because fab areas make lots of metal dust and you just create a big mess. And I'll try and keep it from floating in the air to the rest of the shop, which the shop in California had tons of metal dust everywhere because like we're always building something. So that would be the fab area. Then like I showed you over here is like kind of assembling stuff on like the car, like mechanical area where the lifts are. Then back there would be motor area. But we'll that see. still leaves a bunch of space. So yeah. obviously we'll park the main race trailer when FD's done, kind of right where I'm standing, right here. Takes up some of the space, but we could then use crazy cards pretty freely in this space. And some of these tables that are in the middle here, these were from the previous owner, he left them. I could always move them around, change them, take them out. Who knows yet? Once we get it like cleaned up and dialed in how we want, there's plenty of room. You could do figure eights in like a full size car in here. So imagine what you could do with a crazy cart and a pit bike. So we're gonna have fun inside here. We just wanted you guys to see the beginning of this because it's gonna take time. I think one to two years because we're <coughs> yeah, also if, doing FD. 
and if we weren't we're yeah. not made of money yeah so. if we weren't working <laughs> to cover like the yeah. bills that are in front of you every month if we just could take like a month and a half off and spend you know a big chunk of money and clean everything and fix every it's an older building like 21 years old or whatever you want to fix little things change things so there's a big list but we can't do the whole month and a half off and just do that we have to work and like chip away at it it'll just take time but we'll make it cool same as the other shop took time it wasn't our own building and we still invested money into it and made it look really cool so give us some time we're gonna make this one look even better and have a lot more fun here one of the other cool parts about this building you guys saw was outside we'll just show you again real quick you know it's own little circle so once we get a second crazy cart we could do more fun stuff with two crazy carts we're hoping to do some upgrades from taxi garage on the carts as well so they go a little faster maybe one day there'll be more asphalt than there currently is we give us it. a little more you space you guys saw my dirt drop in the video <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a quick update on this current status of the shop and we'll keep you guys in the loop as we do more see you next time see you later